Hi, this is Steve Horn with Short Sales Done Easy. The topic that we are going to discuss today is a fun one, communication. Communication is very easy for some people, very hard for others. Uh, when we're dealing with communication and Short Sales Done Easy's philosophy on communication is consistency. You have to be consistent when you are negotiating a short sale. And that's in three different areas. You have to be consistent with you, the client. We have to be consistent with the bank. And we have to cons be consistent with the buyer's agent and the buyer. We have to be in constant communication with all three parties. If we are not in constant communication with all three parties, we're going to have a greater likelihood of fallout in one of the three different areas. So when we receive a short sale file, and I hand it off to my negotiator. My negotiator has three different areas. The main negotiator is going to concentrate on two of those areas. He's going to concentrate on the bank and also the seller. My transaction coordinator is going to concentrate solely on the buyer and the buyer's agent, giving them updates, giving them updates on where we're at, finding out if the buyer is still in place or if the buyer is looking at other foreclosure properties. One thing about this short sale and distressed market is that buyers are anxious. They want to close now. They may put their offer in and get an accepted first position short sale offer. However, they know that it's going to take three to six months and with some other teams it could take six to nine months to get the short sale to go through. So what they do is they're going to continue to shop and look for foreclosure properties that they can, uh, that they can see and close on within 30 to 45 days. If we're not communicating back and forth, we don't know that. On our team, it's standard practice that we must contact the bank once a day. My negotiator is assigned to contact that bank once a day, whether it's phone call or email. We wanna be on the top of their mind. Just like when we're communicating with the buyer and the buyer's agent, we wanna be on the top of their mind and we don't want them to back out of the contract. We expect them to stay with us for 75 days. 75 days is a good enough time for us to get written approval. And we make them put a 750 non-refundable earnest money deposit to go with us through this short sale process. So marriage and short sale, how are they related? They both need a huge amount of communication. And while marriage and short sales don't seem like they should be paired together, they, they are. I've read a great book, and I'll give a plug out to this book, Five Love Languages. And in it, it talks about how to communicate with your wife or your significant other. Well, in the short sale world, there isn't a book that gives you a guideline on communication. And so our philosophy, and I should write my own book on this, is consistency. Every single day we have to touch all three parties to make sure that everybody's still on board because the ultimate goal is to make sure that our client does not go to foreclosure. And we, we are solely responsible for the buyers and the buyer's agent and the bank. And if we don't have those two on board, the likelihood of foreclosure is much higher. Um, Bank of America, I want to talk about the files and how important communication is every day. Bank of America, for instance, only has 90 negotiators in Arizona. Each negotiator is working about 500 files and each and every day Bank of America is getting about a thousand new short sales coming through their system. They are completely backlogged. So us getting your file to the top the more we are in communication, the more likely it is that the negotiator that we're assigned to is gonna put our file closer to the top because frankly, they don't wanna hear from us anymore. And that's what we want, that's what we need. We, we don't care how our file gets to the top just as long as it's being touched and it's being looked at. That's our policy, that's how we work at Short Sales Done Easy. Come visit our website as always and keep on looking up at these updates. Steve Horn with Short Sales Done Easy, and remember, we do do short sales done easy.